going on guys back here and user suggested I read the comments again and one of the biggest things I find an issue with is people being embarrassed at the gym when they fail a set and I'm here to teach you guys that failing a set is not the end of your life I failed many many sets many many reps and failing a set is a part of this journey that we all go through of gains you know uh, sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself, you go a little too heavy, sometimes it's a really hot girl that you want to press, but when you do feel upset and people are looking at you and you have no idea what to do, you get embarrassed. And I've been in your same shoes, and you know, I, I felt upset and what happened after that, I was super embarrassed and I left the gym, but I built up the confidence and I returned as the Messiah here for you guys. So I'm not gonna tell you guys all my secrets, but I'm gonna give you guys three big tips that I've learned and that have helped me in the gym when it comes to failing sets. The first is my favorite technique that I created, but this can only be performed when you're squatting, and it's called the dump and shrug. A lot of you guys are doing this three-plate squat. Oh, whatever happened, it's too heavy, you drop it. Oh, people are looking, what do you do? Turn around and start fucking shrugging the shit, bro. People are like, oh, he meant to do that. And then you're like, yeah, I meant to do that. Hide the pain because you could have got hurt from it, but just immediately go into shrugging. You might have some nerve damage in your neck. Just start shrugging. Shrug it away. So the second technique I'm going to teach you guys on recovering from a failed set. This is a little bit advanced technique that I want to show you guys, but this is a technique that you can only do without clips. And one thing I want to teach you guys is that clips are a metaphor for commitment. If you use clips, you got to know that you have to commit, you have to hit it. If you get stuck on the bench and you have clips on, your ass is staying there. You can't do anything about it. But the technique I have is don't use clips and it's called the drop set. look at you because it made a lot of noise but what you can do is quickly start hitting the bar now and then when people see you drop the weight they're just gonna be like oh shoot he's not weak he's just doing a drop set right now so if you're not in the position to do the dump and shrug or the drop sets the next best thing to do is make excuses hey the weight was too light I just didn't want to hit it it was just too light honestly I don't know what happened I think the weight was just like uneven or something I think someone bumped it honestly you didn't see that guy yeah it's crazy I don't know why yeah, I couldn't find my belt either. I, I, I usually, uh -huh. I, I can't squat good without my belt. I think my girlfriend took it. Oh yeah? I'm, just, I'm lying to you, I don't have a girlfriend. Oh. I just want to be cool for a second. <laughs> well, you gotta keep trying. Yeah. yeah. For the girls or for the weight? Probably both. So those are the three tips I want to teach you guys on how to recover from a failed set. People always tell you like, you know what? It's like, you should just check the ego at the door, dominate humbly. Uh, and do all these things, but I'm like, what's the point of even working out if you're not going to show off? That's the whole point you're in the gym, especially if you're a guy, you're single, like me. <laughs> or even there's a guy that's bigger than you. If he's bigger than you, he's probably on steroids, but you got to make sure that you're the guy that shows off, you're the guy that outperforms him, and you're the alpha in the gym, always. <laughs>